Okay guys, I am finally back after a very 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 long time and I, and I really don't have any excuse of like why I haven't been posting it is it's mainly I guess just because I just haven't felt like posting and uh, and there's yeah there's just been a lot that's been going on like personally and stuff like that but uh, um but yeah I am back um at least for at, at least for this episode but yeah um but yeah sorry guys for not being for not posting it's just it's been a very very long time since i've last posted and uh yeah so but the good news is i have a new plane f for you guys and this is the titan um so this is the plane that i've been was planning on featuring sorry for the wobbliness yeah and yeah the camera and yeah and, and i have a new camera uh yeah and i have a new camera camera angle as well so if you like this camera angle drop a like and i'll continue to i'll continue to use this camera angle <clears throat> so this is the titan and as you guys can see this has so this has a oh god damn it stop wobbling so this has a gun and canard fins and retractable landing gear yeah and color change for retractable landing gears as well um two air intakes and two and two afterburners and yeah and it's a very uh cool like it has a very cool profile to um so yeah this plane is pretty cool now and there is another version of this plane and that's this plane right here. I mean, it's basically the exact same plane, but uh, well, yeah, well, the, well, this one doesn't have a gun, but it does have. Oh my god, I keep hitting my hat on the freaking thing. Um, but the difference is it has the angle change. Um, but I I honestly don't really li uh like the fact that this has an angle change, and that is just because because there's so much wing area that this just kind of makes it look a bit um too much in my opinion. Uh, so that's why I I I don't really uh, prefer this, but it, um it does allow it to have cleaner um cleaner air intakes uh, as you guys can see the uh the air intakes on this one is pretty freaking um pretty cool yeah and it's just the same same airplane but and i will go over that as well like how to fold that um that version as well um uh, but we met we're we're mainly gonna focus on this um uh this shape here um so i tried to make use of as much of the paper as possible here here in the front to, uh, to create uh, to create the gun and the canard fins and at the same time <clears throat> so uh, yeah in the, yeah so this is this is the plane and yeah, and and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So, you so you're gonna need uh eight inches to to nine inches. And yeah, so I, I so oh, um for uh for this episode we we we're just going to use a sheet of foil paper here because I think this model looks the best with foil paper. It also flies really well too. I forgot to say that, but this plane flies really, really well too. Um, so we are gonna get right. So we're just gonna get right into this tutorial. So here, so I'm just gonna cut. Um, I, so I'm just gonna cut off. The excess paper there we go so yeah so yeah and the lining is pretty sharp which i don't really like yeah that's better i guess yeah so yeah so yeah so we're just gonna begin by 
folding uh, folding it in half and um, well I guess we, we can fold this from the white side so so I'm just gonna crease this on the on the on the other side so yeah so just fold it in half that's the first um, first step here. And now you're gonna fold this corner to that corner. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me just cut the nail first. Yeah, so just fold uh, this edge to that edge. And like the usual that's kind of been going around now is just folding every single plane from the Vulcan base. So so that's exactly what we're going to do here. So just fold the so just fold this edge to that edge. And just squash this. And just flip the flap over to the to that side and not oh, yeah to this side and just make sure that you that they line up there. And flip it over and fold it like this and double check. And then we're going to fold along that crease there. And you flatten the top down to that point down there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the light again because yeah it's kind of blurred on my um, for my eyes so okay and you just fold straight up And you want to fold this down. And it's just exactly uh, the same as the Vulcan. So, yeah. Do the same thing here. Sorry if I go off frame because I'm not really uh, used to this, um, to this camera angle. So, so it'll take a little bit of time to get used to, but yeah. So just open that up, turn it over, and fold straight, uh, fold straight down here. Make sure that these creases line up like that. Turn o turn over and fold in here. And I just like to do it, uh, do it, uh, do it, uh, do it, uh, do it at the same time because they, this kind of tends to happen. Um, but it, it will happen anyways, but just try not make it happen so that the, the middle kind of pops up instead, if that makes sense. Basically just kind of, yeah, yeah, just making sure that like you don't fold a new crease here so as you can see that middle kind of pops up just a little bit not too much though but yeah 
Okay, so turn over and repeat the same here. And yeah, just fold along the line here. And again, I, I suggest doing it on both sides at the same time, but well, probably probably not for this one. Just kind of, yeah, and just again, just to make sure that there's no paper that like slides and it doesn't make a new crease. I, I, but as you guys can see here, there, uh, there, there's a new crease there, and that is kind of b bad for the next like folds that we're gonna be doing. But it's not too bad. So yeah, and and and, and, and you can just kind of go ahead and um, kind of fold the flap down so that this uh, point there should uh, should touch the triangle there. Just kind of fold them in. Like so, and then turn over and yeah, just basically fold this to the center as well. And again, just yeah, do, yeah, and just make and just make and just make sure that you pop this uh this out from underneath as well. Like that. Yeah, see the camera angle is a bit is a bit off. It's kind of hard to make sure this stays perfectly. Maybe I can tilt a little bit more down. See about there. Yeah. And just pop out the the uh, the flap here. And just no, yeah. Just make sure that. Just fold it back and forth like that. And squash fold. And you're gonna just fold the pedal fold here. So fold this to center. And just create a pedal fold. And now we're just gonna do the exact same, the same thing as we did with the and, and, and everything else. So you're just gonna pull, uh, pull apart the top. And just uh, hold uh, hold at the tail and just kind of pull that out. And then you want to make sure that there's no like kinks here. And then start to collapse the plane, collapse the plane. Just kind of bring in the sides here and just, yeah, just, um, just make sure that you have this going on. And then you're going to actually fold this to the side for now. And you're going to sink, the, sink these two flaps right, um, right inside the model. Be be because you don't need these flaps. And the nose is 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 already pretty re reinforced, so there's no re really uh, use for them. So yeah, so just kind of fold them in. So you fold it to that side, and you kind of just push this, and kind of continue to and just kind of continue to push in, and then you flatten it. So it should look look like this. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of squash this top here and just fold along the creases here. Like that. And flatten the, the top just like that. All right. 
and yeah, so you have these like like two creases basically. You just focus on the this crease here that that's at the bottom and stuff. Like don't get too um, too tripped up, but yeah. Right, so just fold in along the crease here and just keep this flap to the side for now. <clears throat> and and this little line here is very important that that it's exactly right on right right on the line there. It's a very key point because um creating the air intakes for this plane is a bit um kind of hard uh, to get to get exactly uh, precise on both sides so that's why you just ma just make sure that your folding is is per is pretty uh, pretty accurate <clears throat> okay uh we're gonna go ahead and fold these two flaps up like that same thing here and just fold them up and for this to that to that edge look like so and you're also going to want to fold these two flaps up too And do the same thing. Just fold them there to the to the um to that edge. Well, you well you don't really have to fold them like right now, but it's just a pre crease for a squash fold basically. So, so um so yeah. And you can also fold this to meet it up with those two. This is also just a pre-crease for the tail fin. And then you can turn uh, turn over and fold straight up. Just along, or just from those two points. And swivel this down. And land the crease on the edge behind. And swivel from this um, to right, and, and and you can kind of do that. If it, do that if if you want to make it a little bit easier to to kind of fold, but you don't have to. So just from that point and swivel it down to that to the the corner. Kind of, it kind of helps to do this, just to get the uh, fold started smoothly. But, but it's optional, of course. Okay, and then you just want to fold that. I guess, I guess, l l like that. Okay, and then you can just fold those down. And you're going to, yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna go ahead and. Well, you should, uh, I, yeah, you should have probably rebraced it on that side instead, but, but it's fine. And, then you do, and you're just going to fold along the, um, the line there and the line here. And just same here. It's pretty much the same as the F22 and the Vulcan and everything else. Okay, and you're just gonna fold up right here. And you can actually fold it, fold it back just for a second because you're going to pre-crease a fold. So basically you're going to fold from right here to the corner. 
So just, so just kind of reach in here and fold this up and just crease to, to that point right there. Yeah, from there to down there. And this focus is something wrong with this focus. And make sure that you land this tip right here, right on the tip of the top. Why is this focus so ass? Yeah, so just like that. And crease. And just repeat the same on this side. And you might have to move, uh, flip the flap over. So this edge should be right on top of itself, basically. Like that. So now that you've pre-creased that, you, you 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 can go ahead and fold this, uh, fold these flaps back to its to its original position, and you're going to open it, uh, and you're gonna and you're gonna and you're just gonna open up here, and push the um push that down, and kind of pinch this valley fold. And fold it down. And then fold up just like that. So it should look like look like that. And you do the same thing here. Fold it up. like that and now you're just gonna fold along the line here but you're gonna you but you're gonna want to grab the top as well so you don't so basically you want this flap to be facing um, like this way and not like that so you just want to fold fold it up like that and then yeah, 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 yeah. Just make sure that that this flap right here do, doesn't fall like that way. So you want to keep it like that the whole time. So you just want to kind of do that, and then kind of pinch these two to um together, and lay and lay it down like that. Try, try to make this point as sharp as you can. Okay. And same thing on this side. And really try to match up the crease on the other side. So, let me just flatten this out for now so this crease on this side these two right here they should be perfect but if not uh which is which is very common um i mean it's not a huge big deal it's just that the air intakes may be a bit bit asymmetrical and yeah so now i just kind of pop out this top flap and squash fold it like so and then you're just gonna fold the, the, this flap up for a reference 
because you, you you're gonna create the uh, the air intake. So so basically, um, you wanna fold the, this flap up to to land right uh, right on that uh, right right on that edge, like so. And really try to make sure that you that they are the same. So you can kind of pinch these two together just to make sure that they're the same. That's 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 a very important uh, fold. And now you can just inside rev uh, reverse fold them like that. And then you, you you can also go ahead and squash fold the this top right here. So just fold it to side to side. And you squash fold it. Okay, so with these two flaps here, you're gonna fold the canard fins, and and and, and essentially you, you wanna fold them out so that they are parallel to the center fold right here, the center the center line, and you also have to make sure that you just kind of pull out as far as it it will go so to so this should this should be parallel to here and it should come to a point right, uh, right here so then you can go ahead and kind of squash this kind of landing this edge on that edge, but sometimes it won't go exactly there and that's, it, and that's fine. And let's see here. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna fold it down so that this crease is right in between these two here. And then you're going to fold this edge to the, to the bottom edge, like that. And you do 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 the same thing here, folding that edge to 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 the bottom edge. And then you kind of want to overlap the top. So you're basically just kind of folding this in so that. It's like that, basically. So, yeah. So it's it's kind of hard to explain, but <coughs> you're just going to basically have to. Let me stand up a little bit so I can try and try and explain a little bit. Okay. So like. So you're basically folding to that edge, and you're basically you're just going to continue it and. And as you guys can see, when you continue it, this will kind kind of kind of occur, and and then you're just going to flatten out the bottom so that so you will have a bit of a um. So this bottom flap should overlap the top here. That's kind of kind of a tricky uh, tricky explanation, but. The reason why we have to do that is because if we don't, then there there will be some paper right here, and that is kind of annoying. So and that will and that will also cause it to like, um, to not be able to like fold fold this over. So yeah, and th that's just that's just. That's just the way that uh, that I prefer, but you, you can do it however you like. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing, but, be, but, but before we do that, you're just gonna tuck this right inside there. So you, you just repeat here. Just kind of pull out and kind of readjust it as you pull out. Like, la, just like that. <clears throat> And kind of squash this and land this right in between those two edges. <coughs> and reverse that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And just valley fold this to that edge, and then you want to kind of, yeah. Yeah, and then you just do do the same thing here. Like that. And then you want to, and then you just want to kind of keep pushing the, the, the this top portion here until it it to the overlaps the crease there so it's kind of hard to get it to get it perfect but you, but you really don't have to get it perfect just like that and then you just fold that fold that in oh I, that kind of curved a little bit, but that's fine. Like so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and by the way, you can also over, overlap the top. Um, uh, the, the top flap as well. The the bottom to the top and on this side I overlap the top to the bottom um wh which i have a tendency to do but it, it's not a big deal big deal big deal on like which side you just have to make sure that you you yeah and just you just have to make sure that there's no paper like between uh, these two points so yeah so now you can go ahead and kind of fold the uh, fold the air intake. So you want to just kind of fold up here, and you're also going to reinforce that wing. So what you can do now is you can close sink uh, these two flaps. So just pull, so just pull apart, and then you push it so they, so it pops out from underneath, like so. Like that. And I know that's a kind of a weird thing, but yeah. And you do the same thing here, just pop it out. To the to the this side, and you lay and you lay everything down like so, and then you can kind of fold this up if you want. This also reinforces the leading edge. So now that so yeah so now you can go ahead and well actually you should probably fold these down for this step here and also fold the that flap down <coughs> so yeah so now you're gonna create the air intakes now if you want to. You, you can have an angle change. And the way you do that is you want to land 
this edge right, right on top of, of itself. And as you guys can see, if you kind of fold that and you crease this, this will kind of sw it, it swivel out and it will look like that. So yeah, so you can do that. Uh, yeah, and then like later on, you, you can just like sh um, shape the iron takes however you want to. But for but for this, we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do instead is fold in, fold a third from this point right there. So like that. You wanna fold a third and then Wait, you just kind of, yeah. So you fold a third from there, and then you want to sw uh, swivel fold from that point right there, and land it just right on here. L -l 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 like so. A and then you flatten it. And you can kind of like shape it, just kind of roll it a little bit. Now with foil paper, this holds to better a like like a lot better than if you were to use any, than if you were to use anything else. So yeah, so what you could do is you could just leave it like that, or. You can actually fold it to to this side and kind of perform an inside reverse fold here, and then you will have uh, the air intakes kind of st 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 sticking up from the top, just like that. Now that's up. That's completely up to you if you if you if you want to do that. But uh, for but for this we're not going to do that. So we do. So we're just gonna leave it folded, just like that. Okay, and then we do the same thing here. Fold third. Fold third, and and then swivel from the point that you just made, all the way up to right there. Now just pay attention and make sure that they are the same size because that's also kind of in the kind of tends to happen that they're not. Oh, kind of. And this one's a little bit smaller, so just keep pulling. Now it's all, now it's okay if it, it if it goes a little bit past like the like the line because it's not gonna like uh go inside it's like it's just gonna kind kind of be hanging out like like that so so yeah just shape them. Like that. And now you can actually go ahead and fold this up. And you want to fold, well, it's optional, but if you want to, you can kind of fold this edge down to that edge. So kind of hold the layers in place a little bit, just like that. Do the same thing here and fold down. So now you have pretty re re reinforced leading edges. So now you, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and pop out uh, the, the layer that's under here. You can kind of just pull. Pull, uh, pull, um, pull it out, 
and you want to flatten it down so that they kind of spread out here and then you're just going to want to um, valley fold along the uh, along the existing creases there and kind of squash them down so you should have kind of two pockets basically Now that that's not exactly some um some uh symmetrical, so you can kind of go ahead or yeah. So yeah. So so just like that, and then we're just going to color change the the landing gear by folding. By folding, um that edge to that edge like that same thing here folding that edge to that edge and then you're going to switch it will fold that 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 uh the, the, the paper down from the point that you just uh Create it all the way up to the tip. Like that. So it should look like that, and then just kind of do that, and then you can go ahead and fold this up, just like so. And what you also can do is go inside here and kind of take this flat right here. And then you fold it like to right here. The focus is really pissing me off. Um, yeah, so you just kind of want to go in here and or wait. Yeah, so just folding that to right there. It kind of reinforces the nose a little bit. Well, like that. And then you can just kind of go ahead and fold these two up. So now we basically finished with the front section here, finally. Took a little bit. <laughs> okay. So now you want to just kind of fold this edge to the center. And same thing here. and swivel this out kind of squash it down from these two points it's basically the same as the f22 and yeah <clears throat> and i fold the, the, that edge to that edge to, <laughs> to that edge so the same thing here And then fold that edge to that edge. And 
and swivel and swivel that out. And pop open that flap. And same thing here. I'm kind of going a bit fast because this I'm very, I'm very slow at doing tutorials because of how I just how I talk and how I tend to explain things. <coughs> so yeah, um, now you can actually keep this uh, flap on this side if you want. But we're actually, well, I guess we can do that just for a change. Yeah, so, um, but originally it's supposed to be like that and then you, and then you, 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 and then you just fold that edge to that edge. And then fold down. But but I'm going to go ahead and do that on this side instead. So I'm going to just crease it on the opposite side like that. And reverse for that. And tuck that flap right into that edge. Just like that. And yeah, and, and that's not, that's just the way that I gonna do it, but you you don't have to do it. It's just because I, I because I just feel like doing it. So yeah, I, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just, it's just, it's just preference. So yeah. like that okay um, now we are going to go ahead and fold this up a little bit so you want so so so, so what you want to do is fold that edge to the to the line here and this will just kind of shorten out the back a little bit and 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 this also makes a lot easier like a lot easier easier to balance because if you don't uh, have a layer here then they will kind of um, warp a little bit and it will kind of like bulk up and stuff so that's also another reason why um, and it makes the engines kind of stick out a little bit and you're just going to kind of fold it down to the to right there like that same thing here yeah I, yeah I, I know it's a bit sloppy and I know like that um, that I'm a bit sloppy today so just excuse that it's just it's been yeah it's just been it's just been forever since I've last uh, like folded <clears throat> Let's make sure you go all the way in there and then swivel it out to right there. And now we are going to fold, uh, yeah, just fold the wings over and just do that first. So, so that's, so, so that's already like how that accomplished. Like that. And then we are going to fold from here all the way down. And, and to make sure that it doesn't slide.
like that. And let's just go ahead and fold the engines before we fold the landing, the landing gears. So fold from here. And essentially, you you, uh, you want the back edge, the, uh, this edge. You want that to touch right there, so it, it will kind of. So the edge section here should go uh, should go past that edge. You just like so, and you do the same thing here. Like that. And then we are going to do a tricky fold here. We, we're basically just going to get rid of um, like the weird kind of um, angle change here from the, the where we folded this in. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to fold so 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 oh, so we're gonna fold this tiny portion here, fold it down right on right along the edge be uh behind, and of course it's out of focus, like that, and it should go to the tip there, because now. You're just going to kind of tuck this behind so it's like that and you do the same thing here and it doesn't really affect the flight like but it makes it look a little bit like this makes um this makes the appearance of of the app burners just a little bit better in my opinion. So now we're gonna fold the landing struts. So just go so you squash fold this like that, and you squash fold this one. Like that. And then we're just going to do the same thing as we have done with the Aco and the the and the Raven and all those guys. So we are going to fold from this side a third. Now there is actually a reference and that is this continuous edge right underneath. So feel free to use that if if you want to. But you're basically just folding a third and then folding it back a third. So that this is right on top of the the uh, the line. Okay, and you just wanna fold that to match the other side like that. And fold it back like that. And repeat on this side. Go a little bit further than that. Okay, and now you just inside reverse these flaps, and you and you and you just want to fold that to the tip, like that, and you fold this back, and again fold it to the tip. And same thing here. Okay. 
And same thing here. And this tutorial, it actually took a long time to make. Like this is, this has been going on for a very long time. But we never know in the, in the editing if it's shorter than an hour and a half. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out. Now, if you want to, you can get rid of these like excess kind of paper here and just to make the landing struts like a bit a bit more like narrow, but you don't have to. It's not, it's, it doesn't really affect the, the appearance too much and everything else. So yeah, so it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal. Okay, and you just want to fold these back. Um, actually, but before you do that, um, fold this parallel to to this crease right there. So you want to fold so that that edge is parallel to that, um, to this. Uh, yeah, um, on there. And what this will do is it will kind of just, um, um, it just ma yeah, it just makes it like better underneath, just in my opinion. <coughs> but if not, you want to just kind of fold this all the way to um, to right there. Like that. And just fold them down. And you want to just fold up as far as it goes. Same thing here. Make sure that it doesn't slide, just as always. And then we're just going to fold out the landing struts right here. And you want to and you want to and you want to make them parallel to to that edge, just approximately parallel to that edge. Yeah, just swivel them out and pinch. Like that. Or you, you can land them like right in between here as well. That's probably a better thing to do, to be honest. All right, so now you can go ahead and fold this down and Fold this down so that this is underneath or right here. Make sure they are perfect. Okay, and now you can go ahead and jet fold the model like that. Crease them all sharply. And then we, we, we're going to able the tail up from right here. Like that. 
all the way up to the to to the to to the corners there and then push this push it down and then swivel it down as far as you want to and i'm going to go a little bit further actually because because of the angle change that i kind of like to have so not not too much though but just like that And then you can lock the model in by kind of open up the flap there and folding it, folding the, 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 the two flaps there right into the pocket. This is like a small pocket there. I'm trying to get, try, try to get, try to get them inside. And then you just fold all the way up. Oh, yeah, just leave a little bit, just leave a little bit, just leave a little bit of space. Okay, and you close the model up. And you straighten everything out, like this. You straighten up the canard fins. And kind of sweep out a little bit here, not too much though, because then they will kind of do some weird stuff. And then you want to swivel out the landing gear like that, and you want to shape the gun here. So you just kind of fold it down approximately the same as. The landing gear just like a little bit shorter though, so it's about la so it's like that. Sorry, I'm so sorry about the focus. And then kind of shape it, just kind of fold in the opposite direction and kind of shape it like that. And you can also make it swivel uh, by like folding it just like this. Just make sure you fold everything up. And b b bend out the landing gears at the back so it stays. And shape the air intakes however you prefer. We just give it a nice, just a nice round shape, like that. It doesn't have to be like anything crazy, but just some simple, um, just some simple little ear intakes. Like that. You, you, you probably can fuse them together um, but you may have to re redesign them a little bit then but yeah but that's up to you okay so you, there you have there you have your intakes and now just kind of shape out the aft burners here Just kind of uh, round them out however you like. And that's it guys. That is the finished Titan. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. 
if you did leave a like and comment down below and let me know why you thought of this plan if it was bad if it was awesome if it was uh I don't know, just leave a comment down below, tell me if you enjoyed this plan or not, and yeah. But like I said, I, I, um, the uploads, they may be slower now, and and like, like, re like re really slow. It's a little bit hard now, but yeah, it's just, um, like I said, it's just some, uh, some personal stuff, and yeah. But uh, yeah, but that's besides the, the point. Hope you ho hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll catch you in the next episode or the next video when I will that will be. Hopefully sooner than you guys have been expecting. <laughs> um. So oh yeah, and if you want to, you can also fold in it stabilize so just a little bit if you want to. That's up. That's up. That's up. Uh, that's up to you. So there it is.